Rocky Mountain Sasquatch, some amazing vocalizations near the Appalachian Trail, near the border of Tennessee and North Carolina. I will play this Bigfoot vocalization video again at the end and boost the volume, all except for the dog barking nearby, to avoid bursting anyone's eardrums listening to this with headphones. You're welcome. I want to give you the backstory first. Derek writes RMSO. My friend Shannon sent me this from Western North Carolina. They went on for a couple of weeks, most nights in October. I live in northeastern tip of Tennessee, and I notice these are around here mid-late fall, usually October through December. I'm about 15 minutes from the Appalachian Trail. RMSO responds, Thanks for sending the vocalizations the photos, and the eye shine video. Shannon did a great job capturing those amazing vocalizations on video. Derek continues, I saw them a couple of times, one standing beside the road one morning, and two in my backyard about 4.40 a.m. as I leave from work. RMSO continues, That early? There isn't enough light to get a good photo or video. That's why they're so hard to capture on camera. Not only are they rare, they are nocturnal too. Derek continues. I got eye shine though. I recorded a video for about eight seconds. Then my phone died, even though I just got it off the charger for work. RMSO asks, like it zapped the power in eight seconds from the phone? Derek, yes, it was dead after that. The light from the phone was the only light I had. I smelled something nasty when I was opening my front door and felt like I was being watched. I turned on the video and raised it up towards my backyard, and that's when I saw those two sets of eyes. The phone died, and after a few seconds, one walked into the woods, followed by the second. RMSO asks, Do you all have a local name for them? Where you live? Were you able to estimate its height by where the eyes were at? Derek responds, Well, in our Cherokee, they are Unawatawaha, or Sul Kalu, or Nanyangwe. I apologize if I pronounce those wrong. I'm sure if I did, people are going to correct me in the comments. And this is also what Derek says. They were maybe seven feet tall. Not real tall. A bit hard to tell as that there in the area downhill from where I filmed. RMSO asks, what do those Cherokee names mean? Derek responds, Mystic Tribe or the Slope-Eyed Giant. We were taught that they were a tribe of people that live in the forest. If you see one, turn around and leave. Sometimes they play tricks on your eyes. You may think you see them. RMSO continues. Most people I know pack up camp and leave when they see one. Others abandon camp and come back a day or two later to get their things. Not many stick around after seeing one. And then Derek continues. That is the best way. I have to laugh at people that go look for them. You won't ever find them. They find you. RMSO responds, Thank you for giving me the meaning or definition of these Cherokee names of Sasquatch. I'm always interested in local lore of these creatures. Derek says, You're welcome. They are definitely around here, just not all the time.
Oh, oh, oh. 